Hi everyone and welcome. In this video I'm sharing some tips on procedural problem solving. As always you can grab the files from my Patreon. So we start with a simple one on how to separate multiple boundaries since I needed to manipulate the top one. It's quite simple, just group by unshared edges in points mode and check the option create boundary groups. This will create different groups for each boundary, in this case two. Then you can promote to edges or brims for your next operations. This can be useful to close the top boundary and not the bottom one, for instance. Now, the procedural pattern. To create this effect, I'm first separating each section and creating a connectivity attribute. Then iterating over each piece and in a wrangle, I'm creating this repeating pattern of values using the modu modulo along with the iteration value so I can offset the colors. In this case I am also targeting the first and second prims to have a specific value according to my reference. Having the attribute I can remap it with, a, with specific colors making sure I set the correct range by creating a maximum of the attribute. You can use your own colors, in this case I played with the presets and customized it. Now I needed to create this wire effect to add some details to the model, so since we have that attribute, we can just use group from attribute boundary node to select the boundaries. Later we can use this edge selection to create the wire effect. Another problem I had was on how to place the circle on the edges of the wires. In here I'm creating the wires and also grouping the bottom points. Then in a wrangle targeting that group I can measure the distance from the center to the position of those points and finally fit that value to the circle scale. In this one I needed to do this alternating effect to create the baskets so I'm using the sweep node set to rows to create the horizontal lines, then a similar approach to the one on the procedural basket tutorial by calculating the normals with the orient along curve. Next I am grouping every other shape with the modulo and promoting it to points. Now if I look at the final result you can see that we do have the waving effect but it's not alternating. For that I am targeting the group I created in a sort node and shifting the point order by one. And that's how I solved that problem. Now this one got me thinking, I wanted to replace this initial simple object with a simulated one as you can see here. The problem is that it can be tricky to get orient attributes, but in this case I had some help from Swalsh in the CG wiki discord. That told me that I could simply use the orient along curve to extract the n and the up, promote it to primitive attributes since we're going to extract the centroid to copy to points. You can also measure the perimeter as p scale to extract the scaling factor. So this final tip is on how to create these connecting pipes from separate models. So having this curve from the engine, I can measure the curvature and group the points with a certain curvature and from there isolate them and fuse it. And since I'm going to connect these ones to other stream that has four points, I'm replicating the points to have the same amount. Finally, adding an attribute to each stream and connect them with an add node set by attribute. And that's all I have for today, let me know in the comments if you learned something new and if we don't talk till next year, happy holidays and big thanks to all my Patreon supporters too. Thank you, see you around.